Welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see, it's working a little bit on my dollhouse and my wood glue out. Um, I have it in my craft room. It took two days of work to get it in here to clear off this whole table, to move my pink dollhouse down there. I have the Halloween house at the end on the right of this is all the way at the end of the table. This is a six foot table. And a table I work on over here that's completely covered with stuff. Uh, which needs to be taken care of is five foot so this is five foot this is six foot and I've been doing a lot of cleaning here in my craft room I haven't left the house all week I haven't done any shopping I haven't gone anywhere um, I just been puttering in the house you know doing stuff with the kids here in the house doing stuff here in the craft room for two days and I have more to do a lot more to do but I'm really happy with the progress I got rid of two huge like moving boxes that were underneath this table. Um, got them out. One whole box was basically donations. So that was like a whole huge bag of donations already. Another bag's worth of donations and two boxes worth of um, recycling slash trash. Um, so I'm feeling really good about it. I still have a long way to go because I still have the rest of that room. As you can tell, some stuff back here got switched up like the stuff I'm pointing at right here, that is dollhouse accessories and things for the dollhouse right there. And then there's another little pile right next to us, not a little, it's a very tall pile of all the fabrics that I found and um, two huge see-through containers of fabrics and materials and trims um, right next to it. And then I still have the rest of the room to do, but now I have more of a walk walkway. Before it used to be like a little path. Now I actually have a walkway. So I want to work on the stuff here on the right hand side, meaning here on my side, right here, literally next to me. And then I'm going to start working more on the left hand side of the room, which still needs a whole lot more attention. Um, so I'm going to chip away at it little by little every day if I can. Um, it's a little overwhelming. It was in here like two days straight for several hours. So I'm kind of over it right now. I feel like I need a little break. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, so I, might, I am a little tired, I will admit. And taking a nap right now would be in order. But my kids are not going to let that happen. They're downstairs with my daughter at the moment. And um, I'm up here. And I told myself, let me come up here and work for 15, 20 minutes. But I said, let me do a quick video because I haven't really come on here too much this week. Just to give you a heads up of what's going on. I am planning on going to the Dollar Tree. Um, maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday, something like that. I'm going to be doing a video probably from work, from our business sometime next week. I have to go in for a couple of days. There's a lot of projects that I want to complete in there, including cleaning, organizing, setting up a shelf or two in the back to help organize parts. Um, I wanted to paint the front door. I wanted to paint the front window that has the metal and not the metal. But yeah, it is metal. It's like um, the decorative metal that like, you know, is a protector uh, for windows. Um, I needed to paint that. Um, I need to clean up and, uh, you know, stuff like that and organize file. And, you know, I just need to go in there and I need to whip the place up. And it's been needing a, a good paint job in the interior. I just have to consult with my husband the color he wants. Instead of him hiring somebody out, I think I could probably knock it out, honestly. I mean, the front office is just not that big. I think I can do it with, without too much trouble. Um, I would just need to start taking care of any holes and what have you that are in the walls. I know there's one hole where a part went through when they were trying to move some um, equipment and it went right through the wall. So I know there is one hole that needs to be taken care of. So I can, I know I, I, I can patch that. That's no big deal. That's easy to patch. Um, but yeah, so those are just some of the things that I'm thinking about. And tomorrow, today's Thursday, today's Thursday. Um, my plans are to go and visit my sister tomorrow. My mother is supposed to be coming back with me. I'm not too sure how she's not going to fit in the car with me and the children and the jet. My sister will probably have to drive her separately up here and drop her off because she's not, if we all go down there together, she's not going to fit in the car. It's just not going to happen. Um, so she wants to come up here and spend several days and then she has like some doctor's appointments on Tuesday and what have you. 
So basically her, her visit would be just the weekend and then she'd be rolling out probably on Monday and we'd have to take her back home on Monday, which is a ride within itself. It's like a two hour ride one way to go drop her off and a two hour ride back. So exactly. You feel me? Yeah. But, uh, she wants to come and my sister's picking her up. So she already called me twice today, you know, give me a heads up. Well, I'm coming over. <laughs> I was like, okay. And, um, what else can I tell you? I did get, um, two small boxes from holler. I kind of put the stuff away already. I did. I just, you know, I just, I, I don't know. I've been, I'm not in a wonky mood. I'm not. But, um, I guess that, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like doing a video. Sometimes you don't. And I just didn't feel like it. And I just put stuff away. I know what it was. It's only a handful of things. Maybe I'll go back into my room and pull them out and put them on the bed and just do a quick video. Uh, I still have my Ulta box with only four things to share. Maybe I'll do a video with the Ulta stuff. It's only four things. Not even four things. I think three things. And the stuff from um, Holler. So I might do a separate video for that. But I'm really excited about the dollhouse. Thank you, everybody, for all the positive and beautiful responses and suggestions um, for what to do with maybe some of the issues and or problems that this beautiful, absolutely drop-dead gorgeous house has. Um, my sister, Olinka, she had bought it just as is. And, um, you know, I was it was a blessing to be able to get that from her as a gift. And she knows how I am, how I am about dollhouses. So. Mm -hmm. <sighs> um, going through my craft room. Let's talk about my craft room for a minute. Let's do that. Let's talk. I'm finding a lot of stuff that I forgot about. And you know how you kind of like just tuck stuff away. You're like, okay, I'm gonna put that away later. I'm gonna put that away later. And it kind of just gets shoved and shoved and shoved back, 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 back. And you're like, wow. So that's where it went. <laughs> I've been finding stuff. I found like, uh, ooh, maybe 15, 16 rolls of washi. Um, I put them already in my container over here on the left and, um, I found a whole bunch of scrapbooking supplies. So underneath this desk, the six foot desk, I have three containers. One is dollhouse accessories, which I need to pull out once I put the furniture in and see what I can use in each room. One is components, building components, which consists of wood trim, um, flooring, uh, some bricks, a little bit of brick, actual like little bricks, uh, wallpaper. Did I say wallpaper? I don't even know. Some windows, maybe a door or two. I don't know if I have a door big enough for this. I have to see. I know I have more building components over here in this closet that I put the majority of all my dollhouse stuff in. So I really need to go ahead and just kick it up in gear so I can get into that space because I can't even get to it right now because I kind of have it blocked off to get to the things that I need because um some of the components I need I need to put like some wood right here to cover all this up right here and um uh, what have you so there's just like little things and then I know I had to, like a single door maybe I can put the single door here I'm missing like one two three doors it's just is it just three I think three, four with the front door is like four doors. Oh, maybe five. That's, I think that doesn't have, is that a door? No. So it's four doors. So I need like to find four doors for this particular house, you know, just for this particular house. Um, once I'm able to like clear off some more stuff over here, my daughter gave me a great suggestion. I have one of those Ikea tables that everybody gets is like forty something dollars And then you, sh you put in the little, you buy the individual baskets that you slide in you know which one i'm talking about and it has it's like one two and you know it has like two shelves and you got the baskets and it's kind of thick i have that i have one downstairs and it's filled with books and i have one in here but i have it sideways like this almost like a staining bookcase um she was like why don't you put that back down fill it back up and organize it. And then maybe we could bring up another dollhouse from downstairs and put it on top of that. So you can really start putting all your dollhouse stuff into them. Because as I put my dollhouse stuff into my houses, I'm freeing up space in here because I have containers that are holding all this stuff. So if I can empty out the containers, 
I'm freeing up space. So there's a method to the madness. Um, and I found a whole bunch of scrapbooking supplies and things like that. And um, I'm thinking, I'm just saying it, I'm thinking about doing some de-stashing. Because there's a lot of stuff that I was like, mm, am I going to use it? I don't know. I don't think so. If I try to do any de-stashes, just to give you guys a heads up, I will try to do them on weekends, like when everybody's home, um, Saturday or a Sunday, and list them. And it'll be first come, first serve, and it will be PayPal, friends and family only in the U.S. only as well. And I will be having my daughter mail things out because she likes to go to the post office. I never go to the post office. I haven't even been to my post office in weeks. I know. That's pretty bad. I have to go and check it. I mean, I'm paying for it, right? <laughs> I got I to gotta go. Um, but I usually, I usually send her and, um, she'll, I'll probably have her go at least once a week, if not twice a week, um, depending upon when the money has cleared. Um, so I will do, I'm gonna try to do some D stashes just to free up some space in here. Things that I know I'm not going to use. So I'm going to, I, I do have some flat rate boxes that Nijet had in her room because she was doing eBay. I have to see what size they are. And see if I can kind of get everything together, um, figure out what the flat rate box cost is, and then present it to you guys, you know, with the shipping price included and see if anybody's interested. You know, we'll do it that way. And um, what else? I still have a friend mail to send out. I haven't been out of the house all week. I haven't gone anywhere. Not even the grocery store. I've just done all the errands. I have not moved out of this house since, what, Sunday? Was it Saturday? I think it was Saturday or Sunday when I went to the boat with my husband for those few hours. I haven't been out of the house since. I've just been puttering around in the house doing stuff in here. And, um, but I'm kind of ready to get out and, uh, you know, just, just get out of the house. It, it'll be nice even taking a drive to my sister's and packing up the kids to go. It, it'll be nice just to get out. So I'm kind of looking forward to it a little bit. Um, whenever I take the kids out to anybody else's house, sometimes, um, sometimes it's more work than pleasure because, you know, my sister's house is not baby proof and they get into stuff and they want to play and touch everything. And, you know, it's like, you know, each time they go in there, it's like, yeah, you know, new area, let's explore. It's not like here at home where I could just have her come. She could sit down and we could just chill. And I know that you know, everything is like safe and they could just run around through the whole first floor and I'm good. So, um, that's the situation with that, but we'll see. I'm, I'm going to see what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to make a decision of what I'm going to end up doing. And, uh, what else? Let me see. Uh, let me say, let me say what else. Um, I think that's about it for now. And I'm making a list of everything that I need to get from um, either the, the Lowe's or the Home Depot for the shop. And I'm going to be taking care of things that my husband just doesn't have time to take care of. You know, it's, if I don't do it, it's not going to get done. So um, I'm just going to have to buckle down and do it. And I also need, see, I need to put that on my list. I need to buy a good step stool because I'm not going to be able to reach the outside window, the metal outside the the outside the front window of the shop because it's too high for me so i need to get a, a good step stool and keep it here in the house because i'm too short for all the all the cabinets in the kitchen and i've needed a step stool step stool on the list step stool one that can hold a big girl Here you go because you know i'm a plus size girl all right so it's on the list well, I think I'm going to head downstairs and have a little lunch because I am hungry and it is past 12, I believe. I think it's past 12. So I'm going to head down there and if maybe if I can get my mojo back up, maybe I'll work up here for time myself for 15 or 20 minutes, see how much I can get done. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my little chit chat and hopefully I'll be coming back with a Dollar Tree haul, something to share with you guys. If not, maybe like a thrift store haul if I go thrifting with my sister or something. I don't know what we're going to do. Honestly, I don't know. But I guess we'll just play it by ear. Well, thanks for uh, coming by to visit. Talk to y'all later. Bye.